prior to Unreal Engine 4.18, this is what your physics assets would look like when you're trying to edit them in the editor. While it's functional, it's one of those things that have been around a while and could actually use a lot of love. So in 4.18, they have changed it from what you see here to what you see here. It's actually undergone a very large and dramatic change, and we'll go ahead and cover a few of the main differences. Let's go back to the older version. We'll take a quick look. We had a main menu at the top, and it would allow us to change things back and forth. We could see bodies and constraints. We could add and remove things. Our skeleton hierarchy right here was pretty simple and basic. Unless you were paying attention, you actually didn't know if you had anything assigned to a bone unless you noticed it was bold. So for example, I can undo these ones, delete their bodies, and you'll notice these are all bones without physics bodies, and these have physics bodies, which at a glance, it's a little bit difficult to tell because it's just bolded. You also can't really tell which is what, and you have your menu that changed back and forth over here based on generic settings or the physics bodies or if you had constraints set up. We'll go ahead and go back to 4.18 and now this is what we have. Looking at it, we get a much better hierarchy for our skeleton that actually separates things and easily tells us what we have. So for in this case, we have our pelvis bone and our details for just the pelvis bone. But underneath that, we have things such as our different body shapes, any capsules or other physics body assets we have attached, if we have any constraints set up to that, and then what they're constraining to. And you can actually see that down here in a graph. So if we clicked on our root, for example, well, our root's not connected to anything. We have our pelvis. Our pelvis isn't connected to anything. But this is our actual pelvis physics body asset. And that has constraints hooked up to it and other body parts. And you can see as you go down your hierarchy, you can see what is controlled by what. Really simply, and you can actually navigate through it like this. And you'll notice them highlighting over here. We do get, as you can see in the background, actually a nicer preview under the preview scene settings. So we can do things such as a preview animation, meshes, even down to a cube map and a light and things like that. The nice thing is this uses our new material preview preview settings so we actually have different options we can apply with profiles so one of those nice little things that was added in 4.18 now actually looking through here one of the biggest pains in the butts before was simply manipulating different types of physics assets your different primitive types and things like that it had a modal window or basically a window that would pop up co cover everything and you had to do that in order to ch make changes with the new version, that's all moved down to here in its own tools window, not obstructing anything. So we could actually go through, and let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's get rid of everything. Let's select everything, and we'll go ahead and delete it. And now we've gone ahead and we've removed every physics asset we have applied. Now let's say we want to go in and we want to apply a physics asset just to our pelvis. Now we can easily go in, go to our tools, choose the primitive type and all of our other settings, add bodies, and there, it's instantly added. You can now see we have a capsule, you can now see we have a physics body. It's done really simply. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. And you can now, by selecting nothing at all, we have the ability to generate the entire physics asset from scratch. So I can do capsule, generate, and there we go. Now we have a brand new physics asset created using capsules. And of course you can change it, we could have spheres, we could have single convex holes, or we could even have the newer multi-convex holes, which is actually covered separately. So you have the ability to really quickly go in and reiterate, change things. It's just quicker, as you can see here. We can also have different show options. These are better organized. We can change, you know, what we're going to see, what we're not going to see, if we want to see the background and other stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have better filtering here in terms of what is shown. So, for example, we can show just our basic skeleton itself, or we can show maybe just if we want to see the bodies or constraints or primitives. So, you have much better filtering options, much better ability to get to exactly what you want. I could go in here, for example, here's our spine. Let's get rid of everything on our spine. Let's go ahead and go to, I want a sphere for the spine and hit add bodies. And now I have just a, you know what, let's get rid of, let's take, Get rid of that. 
and let's change that to something like a single convex hole and there we go so now we have like a single convex hole for just that body part and then boxes for everything else so it's easy to quickly just boom you iterate through you click on things you change the options everything's more context sensitive now so you have the individual bones give you just their transform and other name information your physics bodies gives you all of the physics information your constraints give you all the constraint information so you can change them much quicker and easier on an individual basis so have fun feel free to go through this in 4.18 it's a great new addition to the engine the, with the improved physics asset editor and it should hopefully help out oh and one last thing i forgot previously the physics assets were separate objects so if you open them up they'd open up in their own tab technically they do now but if they are assigned to a skeleton you'll actually find it show up in our nice happy little list here where we can easily go through all of them at once so we can see this skeleton has this mesh mesh assigned to it with this animation with this blueprint with this physics object also you notice the icon again keep forgetting small things is now instead of a generic icon it actually shows in the preview what your physics asset looks like that's assigned to this skeleton 